settled. No more excuses. We're going to find out who the better superstar is. Larry. One more time. Uh oh. Now setting him up one more time. Uh oh. You've got to believe this one's over. Incredible impact. Guys, you never know what you're going to see in a match like this. And if you need proof of that, just go back to watch Daniel Bryan versus Kane from Extreme Rules 2014. This might be it! Oh, my! Back in from the apron. As Corey mentioned, Daniel Bryan versus Kane from 2014 provided scenes we never thought we'd see. Most notably for me was Bryan carrying Kane back to the ring via a forklift. That's right up there, Michael, but let's not forget that was also the match where Kane went through a flaming table. Oh, nasty impact. Victor created the fall of man for the Ascension to use and precisely determined where to hit their opponent so the opponent feels maximum pain. That is a disturbed individual. The fall of man takes opponents down for the count no matter. Look who it is! Oh boy, he is winning. Long before Matt Hawk fell, that the cover. He gets the shoulder up before three. Wow, what a display of heart and determination. Showing off some of his speed there. Look at this. Boom. Nice. Byron brought us back to the days of the Hardy Boys, who have eight WWE Tag Team title reigns, as well as a series of classic matches with the Dudley Boys and the team of Edge and Christian. Even before they set out on their own, the Hardys were Hall of Fame worthy, but now Woken Matt and his brother Jeff have forged their own wonderful careers. What's he got in mind? Oh man, Victor's in trouble. Harsh impact. Oh my God, a clothesline. This match has been non-stop since the bell rang. Twist of faith! But is it enough to put... He's going for the pin. Matt Hardy gets the win.